um, at Salford Arts Theatre and we're doing a fundraiser um, called uh, Local. Peter Hook's on, which is the big draw for us. Being interviewed by Mike Sweeney and they talk about some of their history and what they find is wonderful about Salford. And some guests who are not actually here, but they're here in spirit um, and here in face, but not in person. Hopefully it's going to bring a lot of people in and it's to raise money for new seats at the Salford Arts Theatre. It's giving back to the community from which all of this came from. Yeah, to hear the stories and to celebrate Salford, basically. It's just great to be here and enjoy the moment, actually. As the night is called, local as well, isn't it? So it's like keeping it local, keeping, you know, things alive in, in, your, in your town, in your city. Creativeness is one of the best things in the world. It's like the last form of magic. We've got our patron Stephen Lords come along tonight and he didn't think he was going to be here, he thought he was going to be out of the country filming, but he's made a special visit, him and his wife, and it's just that family atmosphere. I'm a local lad and, um, you know, what Ron and Scott have been doing and, you know, keeping this theatre alive and it being there for the community, I think is exceptional. The arts is still very much a middle class enclave and it's not doing it malevolently. It's the nature of the beast. And one way of, I think, breaking those barriers down are the arts, whether it's theatre, whether it's music, whether it's drama, whether it's poetry, whether it's comedy, whatever. And you've got to have a facility that can deliver that. So it's fantastic that facilities like this exist in Salford and um, all the more reason to support it and keep it going. A place like this helps normal people appreciate things like that, you know, and it is very important for that, it really is like a diamond in the rough here. If there's no places like this for people to express it, then there'll be a lot of people who will never get to discover their own talent themselves, and so there's that aspect to it, that's why you need grassroots level, um, theatres, venues, all that sort of thing, because it just enriches the city and the community. I mean, it has something special, it really does. It keeps me coming back and I'm very proud of it. I was doing some interviews today and um, I realised that on the 4th of June 2016 I will have been a musician for 40 years. Uh, scary, that, isn't it? Uh, and that was the Sex Pistols, 4th of June 1976. I mean, it was the attitude and the, the arrogance was so um, different to anything that you'd seen before. I mean, I'd seen Led Zeppelin, I think, the week before at the Hard Rock, and seeing the Sex Pistols just, just did something to you, it just flicked a switch. And I don't know what ever possessed me to think at that moment that I could play a musical instrument, because I'd never played one before, uh, and to go home, you know, with that in your head. And then it became an ambition, and the drive to achieve it was, was paramount in your life. It really was all encompassing. And I think the new bands were brilliant. Well, if I was around in 16 If I had to sum up this night in one word, I would have to say amazing. Inspirational. Just look at all the people that are still here now talking about it, enjoying themselves. These are people from Salford enjoying a gig in the heart of Salford and really buzzing off it. And that, that, that for me is what's important. When this theatre's full, it's like, sounds a bit cheesy, but the theatre's singing. I'm telling you, it's, it, it's buzzing. And it's people from Salford enjoying a night out in Salford. So. Open the house. Open the house. Open the house.